everybody welcome back it's Tosh here I am finally in the video and today is a what's new Wednesday so we'll jump into that in just a second for those of you that are returning welcome back for those of you that are new here my name is Tasha and on my channel I typically do all things makeup um, I did recently have some surgeries that kind of threw my schedule completely off but hopefully we are back on track with the Motivation Monday, What's New Wednesday, and then some kind of a Saturday video. Um, I will absolutely try my best. I am at going to go ahead and jump into the video. I was at Ulta and I actually saw this new foundation, or they say it's new foundation from Essence called Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. It is supposed to be 24 hour long lasting hydration. And I don't have my eyeglasses so I can't see so hang on just a second ever since my surgery I can't see very well let me see if I can find them okay I know they're all kinds of yellow light reflecting I'll take them off in just a second um, so let's read about this it says that it is hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera 24 hour long lasting finish and lasting moisturization with a natural coverage. Hmm. It is vegan. So there we go. I got it in the shade 40. I'm not sure, you know, without testers, and I am terrible at trying to figure out what shade I am in. I wish that foundation companies would make one universal language so that all of them kind of work similar but I know that it's proprietary and they can't do that and blah 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 I totally get that at any rate we are gonna try this today I also picked up which is not brand new but it is new to me and I have already don't know what I did with it um, so the next thing I picked up is the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills lash um, brag I actually heard Taylor Wynn talking about this I just got a little sample size because I do think you can find some really good drugstore mascara but this one she said is amazing so I am going to try this and see what I think of it today um, and then let me grab the okay sorry I'm back um, it is not new but it is new to me this is the Tarte concealer but it is the ultra creamy Again, I think the tone is not quite right. It might be a little light, but we'll have to see what happens with that. So we are gonna try all three things. It is eight o'clock in the morning, so I am going to put this on, see how it wears all day, and I'll kind of jump back in at different intervals, let you guys know what I thought about everything. I do have another thing that I'm trying that is not new to me. This is the Pixie Rach Loves palette, and it is or it was seven dollars seven dollars at, at TJ Maxx Marshalls and I did open it up and check it it is actually in perfect pristine condition which does you don't always find that at, at the home goods TJ Maxx Marshalls whatever you want to call it so we are going to try that because I've heard great things about it so full face so let's jump on in I am not putting I did moisturize my skin it's already um, sunk in I'm not putting found it um, Oh my brain primer on because I want to see how this works without primer um, so it is in a plastic tube it is not high-end at all but I do like plastic tubes because it does help get all every last bit of the foundation out um, it is sealed which I do appreciate so we're gonna open this up and see how bad I did on color matching my face my rest of my body is quite dark Oh, jeepers. Well, that did not come off very easily. Okay, so let's put a little bit right on my hand here. Um, wow, I don't know. I don't think that will be too bad of a um, match. We are going to use this mirror from the Rach Loves palette real quick, and we are just going to, I am using a What Beauty Blender. Just going to kind of stipple that on and see. It is definitely very light coverage. So you can see as I'm adding this on, I do have a little bit of a blemish right there. And it has not covered that up at all. And just that little bit is already gone. So I'm gonna put a little bit more out on here and we're gonna slowly work in. It 
it does feel lightweight. It is covering up the redness a little bit, kind of minor blemishes, but I would not say that it is... I would say maybe light to medium. You can still see on my nose I have some sunspots. I do have that blemish right there. It is coming through. Um, it does feel lightweight. <coughs> Ooh, choke, sorry. It does feel lightweight, which I do appreciate. Still kind of wet, so we're going to let it <clears throat> sit down for a minute, and we're going to go ahead and put the... <clears throat> so while that sets down, we're going to go ahead and put the under eye concealer on. And I know already that I got too light of a shade, even though I got it darker than I typically do in the Tarte regular under eye concealer. Um, so we're just going to put a little dab right there in the inner corner and a little dab right here. Just to see if we can't cover some of those dark circles. I do find sometimes that Tarte tends to be a little more yellow than is good for me. So before we blend the other under eye out, and yes, I do take it all over the eye, I understand that. But before we blend the other eye, under eye out, you can see it did cover up most of my dark circle. Of course, it is very good coverage. Um, I do think I could have gone with one shade darker, uh, but it's not bad. <clears throat> Okay, so even after a few minutes, I've put on my concealer. I've kind of let the foundation sit for a few minutes. It is not, um, it is still tacky. So I do think that you're going to have to set this with something. So I'm going to go ahead and set it and then I'll come back and apply the mascara and the highlighter in just a minute. <clears throat> okay, I am back. We will call the official check-in time 8.30. Um, I will just real quick go through what I put on my face. I did set my whole face with the number seven. This is the Lift and Luminate Triple Action. It is supposed to be a dupe. Sorry, it's all gross on the front, I know. Um, for the Charlotte Tilbury, I do like that. I did set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier under, under Eye Brightening Powder. Um, my bronzer is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And then, of course, Butter Bronzer Blush. Um, in the shade rose pink. I was feeling the rosy today. I am using a very simple eye look because I wanted to test this. This is not new, but it is new to me. This is the Nabla Cupid's Arrow. <clears throat> and just really quickly, they are t saying on the box that this Cupid's Arrow full color styling pencil is supposed to be long lasting and water resistant. Um, so I do have it on both of my eyes. That's all I have. Um, so we're going to see how it works as well with everything else. And then we're going to go ahead and put on my highlighter. I'm super excited about this. I am going to go into this glitch color right here and just see what that looks like first. So on my little highlighter brush here, just a little bit. And you guys can see that glow compared. Look at that, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's a glow. Ooh, that's a glow. My under eyes from that creamy concealer, even though I did set them, they are looking kind of shiny in my little viewfinder there. I'm not sure if that's translating over into the thing, but I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but I do love this highlighter. Just, just for fun, we're going to put a little T on there, too. Just, just, not that I need anything else, but we're going to add a little more on there. Okay, I like it. It has lived up to the hype. Um, and then last but not least, I'm going to put on this Lash Brag by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And if I can get it open, see what we think about this mascara. And then I will do a check-in in a couple of hours. Let's go ahead and 
do this. So beautiful, beautiful packaging. I do like that ombre effect into that rose gold. The mascara wand is huge. Look at how big and thick that is. I do like that it is kind of an hourglass shape wand. And let's go ahead. I don't know that I notice a huge difference there. I do tend when I put my mascara on to kind of look down a little bit so that I don't get it all over the top of my eyelid or at least I try not to. And then I kind of blink at the same time to like pull it through. That does help load the eyelashes a little bit. <laughs> so that's several coats of mascara. I cannot say that I'm super impressed by it. Um, it does coat the lashes well, but it kind of makes them thicker. I don't know what I think about that. Okay, um, we'll leave it like it is here. Check-in time 8.30, and I will come back and check in with you all a little bit later. Okay. Oh, I do have one more thing that I'm going to try. Um, this is, I did get this in my Allure box. It's going to be super bright, another reason why I did a very simple eye. Uh, but this is the Yves Saint Laurent um, lipstick that is supposed to be hydrating as well as last for eight hours. So let's put it on and see if it really lasts for eight hours. I'm not even going to put, even though I'm tempting fate, I'm not even going to put a uh, lip liner on. We're just going to put this on and see if it lasts. Wow, that is bright. Well, it's on. Um, it went on super smooth. I did not have a problem. It's nice and smooth feeling. It feels super emollient. So for it to last eight hours, I don't know about that. Again, 8.30 is our time. It's literally 8.37 now, so only a few minutes have passed. Um, so we'll see how everything lasts. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, quick check in only because of the lipstick. It is nine, oh here, let me actually put it so that you can see it, the time, 9.18. Remember, <laughs> I just got off of here at 8.37, and you can already see all I did, I haven't eaten, haven't done anything, but I drank coffee. And you can see that already on the inside of my lips, on top and bottom, but particularly bottom, the um, lipstick has worn away. So definitely, although it is very hydrating, I do do say that, and certainly the exterior of the lips have remained okay, but it's been a very short time. Um, I would not say that this is an eight hour lipstick, especially for Yves Saint Laurent, which is very expensive to begin with. I probably would stick with something like the It Cosmetics um, cream lipsticks they do very very well and are not drying if you're looking for a bullet long-lasting lipstick so that's my check-in for that we'll wait a little bit longer and check in for the makeup right now there isn't any changes because it's so quick okay bye hey everybody welcome back it's Tash I am here today checking in it is oh, jeepers creepers I keep doing that sorry 1134 so it's only been literally three hours um, I am going to get a little bit closer. I can tell you right now, lipstick, absolute fail, but I came on earlier after only <laughs> like 15 minutes or so, and it was already a fail. Um, so let me get closer, and I'll show you some of the things that I'm seeing with the foundation itself. Um, and then we'll check in one more time a little bit later, because it's only been three hours, and I'll give you an update. All right, this is as close as my camera is going to let me get. I don't know if you can see, but there are already... Um, lines here on my forehead where the foundation is starting to sink into. It's not really bad on my smile lines yet, but my forehead it is, and typically my forehead is not an area that I have an issue with. So I'm a little surprised by that. 
I don't see any breakdown. Unfortunately, my nose has been running a little bit, um, so I have been wiping it. So that's not the foundation. That's me. I apologize. Um, otherwise, everywhere else, it looks pretty good. Um, not bad on the smile lines here. I still am not a big fan with how shiny the creamy Tarte found, um, concealer is. Uh, I definitely like the um, regular kind better as far as the way it looks but this does not crease under my eye as much as the other one. So you kind of had a, a trade-off, definitely. I do think there are some other ones that work better for me than that, um, but it is a pretty high coverage concealer. Um, loving the Nabla Cupid's Arrow liner so far. I haven't had any issue with it. I do not see any flaking from the mascara, which is nice. I am pretty picky with my mascara. Um, but like I said, the foundation, I'm not a fan of how it looks on the forehead, um, kind of right in between here and where it's in these lines, which I usually don't have an issue. Um, so we'll check back in in another three or four hours. I'll let you guys know kind of overall review what I think, and that'll be it for the What's New Wednesday. Okay, bye. Hey everybody, I am back for my final check-in because I can't stand to have this on my face anymore. <laughs> Um, it's been six hours. I can tell you right now, I am not a big fan of this makeup foundation. Um, so I am as close as my camera is going to let me and still kind of be focused and in the frame. But as you can see on my forehead, it still does not look very good. There's quite a bit of creasing. It's gone into my lines and that never happens to me on any foundation. Um, and then I don't know if you can see it in the viewfinder. Hopefully you can, but all of my pores and granted I didn't use a primer and typically I do however this was supposed to be a very hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera um, it has it accentuated all of my pores through here which also sometimes right here is a problem for me but not typically through my whole face and cheek area and that's what it's done um, it does feel a little bit tight. Granted, I did set it with that powder, but I typically set all of my foundation. So I didn't do anything that was out of the norm that will cause it to be so kind of tight feeling. Um, it has not broken down. Even around my nose, I, I have wiped it and that's why you can see that it's worn off in some places, but otherwise it's not bad. Um, I can tell you right now, the under eye concealer does crease a lot less than the regular Tarte concealer, um, but I don't like that, that shiny look to it. I like just a little more matte so that it doesn't draw so much attention to right there. I feel like this is shiny and the rest of my face is not, and it's not quite right. Maybe in combination with a different foundation, it might work better, uh, but definitely this combo, not the biggest fan of. Um, mascara after only six hours is already wearing um, or coming down into the corner of my eyes um, and just kind of like transferring a little bit onto my bottom eye lid. I hate when mascaras do that. I hate to have to go into the mirror um, and make sure that I'm checking all the time that it's not there or it's not smearing. Um, so definitely not the mascara for me. It, it's dry so it's not wearing or coming off on my finger. Uh, not quite sure why it's transferring down after this many hours into the corner and different areas here. I'm not sure if it's the concealer because it's so emollient and it, it does have that shiny perspective. So I will try the mascara again. I will try the concealer again with a different foundation and I will update those for you. Um, this foundation is just not the pick for me. It is only $7 and maybe for someone who um, is not quite so dry because I do tend to have a drier face. It might work a little bit better. So maybe normal. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Has anyone else tried this foundation and loved it? Um, of course, I do absolutely love the um, highlighter. Of course, the Rach Loves um, and Pixie collab palette is beautiful and everyone has said it's beautiful. And then we've already talked about the lipstick for the amount that it is. I definitely would not spend it. I would spend it on something else. Um, so hit with the um, highlighter. My brain is not working, sorry. 
Um, concealer will try again. I'll update you guys in the comments below about the concealer and the mascara if it worked better with something else. Um, but that's my what, What's New Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I loved having you here with me. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!